welcome to dictation. So today we're going to be learning a different sound. Now again, some of you guys might know this sound and be able to recognize this sound um, on these letters, but it is important to practice all these different ways of sounding out words and seeing them in print and trying it out for ourselves. Plus, of course, we're working on our capitals and punctuation and um, also the different sounds that we'll see. So you'll get something out of this no matter what. So, um, listen to the sentence. What sound do you hear that is the same in each word? Poodles, scoop, droopy, noodles. Can you tell me what you hear? If you said, ooh, you're right. Okay, because we have ooh, like spoon, right? And so sometimes you have other words that have ooh. Can you think of any off the top of your head? If you can, go ahead and say them out loud at home, right? Good work. Okay, so I sent your parents this worksheet, right? And so of course you can either print it at home or we can go ahead and make a paper together. Um, but for now you'll see number one has three lines and two underlines under the first. Number two has three lines. Number three has three lines and two lines under the first. Number four has three lines and two lines under the first. And number five has three lines and a squiggly line under the third line. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, number one is broom. Broom. All right, I want you to pause it after this and try it out. And then you're going to check with me after you've written it. Remember, write it first and check with me. It's important for us to see and fix it rather than just copying off of me. Okay. So our word was ooh, broom. Let's check it together. We have bruh. Ooh, mmm. Notice that consonant blend up here with bruh, and the ooh, and the mm, right? Broom, please rewrite on your paper together. You can make a goal of trying to make it neater, um, the spacing better, or you can maybe try out your cursive. Okay, number two is moon. Moon, pause it. Okay, let's check it together. Moon. Good job and rewrite. Okay, number three is swoop. Swoop. Okay, let's check it together. Hopefully you paused it. Swoop. Again, a consonant blend of sw, u, Swoop, swoop. Number four, stool, stool. All right, hopefully you paused it. That consonant blend of st at the beginning, ool, l, stool. Please rewrite. And then number five is booth, booth. All right, hopefully you paused it. Let's check it together. Booth. And then make sure you rewrite it. Now, at the end there, right, that's our digraph of, right? A digraph is two letters together that make a different sound when put together. Okay, so let's move on to the sentence portion of our work. Here you see our lines. Now, if you need to make some on your own paper, of course, feel free to do so. If you want, you could make them while we say the sentence. All right, our first sentence, remember, you are pounding with me. I'm sorry, I'm pounding first. You're pounding with me. And then you are tapping your lines. Okay, so our first sentence says, it is so cool in the pool with me. It is so cool in the pool. 
All right, let's tap our lines. It is so cool in the pool. Okay, pause the video and write it in. Now we'll check it together. It is so cool in the pool. Okay, and make sure you're checking for cops to make sure your sentence is following all the rules. We have a capital letter I order. It is so cool in the pool. Punctuation, you should have your period there. And spelling, check for pool and cool. Obviously, it is so in and the are important to look at, but I'm hoping that you got those right. Um, also, just a side note, make sure your S and O are the same size, just like your C and O. I don't want S or C to be too much taller than those O's or I'll think they're a capital letter. Okay, so our second sentence. The rooster went out on a roof at the zoo. Pound it with me. The rooster went out on a roof at the zoo. Remember, rooster is a two syllable word, but it's still one word. All right, so let's go ahead and tap our lines. The rooster went out on a roof at the zoo. Okay, pause it, and if you need to go back and hear the sentence again, please do. Let's check it together. The rooster, oops, that O oh, silly. Rooster went out on a roof. at the zoo. All right, checking for cops to make sure our sentence is following all, all the rules. We have a capital letter for T. Again, checking the other letters, making sure we didn't put in a capital letter somewhere else. Order, the rooster went out on a roof at the zoo. Does that make sense? Of course it does. Punctuation, we should have our period there at the end. And spelling, checking for rooster, roof, zoo, and all those other words. I would like you, and don't forget to rewrite and check for cops a second time. If you didn't do that with the first sentence, please go ahead and do the rewrite of the first sentence as well. All right, and that will conclude our dictation for today for ooh, oh, oh.